So I'm gonna talk just a little bit about a swing beat played on a half open hi-hat like this. That's actually kind of um, something that I struggle to work it on. And uh, the, the hard part of this is, is to get a very consistent sound, like you're playing a rise cymbal. Which is relatively easy um, compared to the hi-hat because, uh, you know, the mechanism of hi-hat is actually too... Um, two symbols um, stack into one thing to play, right? And um, you gotta make sure that you have enough technique to control the, the sound of, of hi-hat with both sticks and foot, you know? So you might not want to open that too much. You might, want, you might not want that to be too close which is dry in that case what you what you want to do is actually make sure that it has a very nice uh, touch between two hi-hat cymbals and to make that a very long as long as you can the sustain sound That's actually kind of dry. Yeah, here we go, right here. Okay. Um, not really. Um, it's really hard to find a sweet spot, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, in this case, I'm 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 using I'm I'm using a old K from 1950s in the top and a uh, modern constant noble on the in the bottom, which is both under a hundred grams. It's, it's like a how uh, a a thousand gram. I'm sorry. So it's both like a hundred grams or something like that. Uh, it's kind of thin, but the uh, the weird thing is that the bottom one is pretty flat because it has uh, a modern kind of thing to you know factory use uh, to to make this one but this is 100% handmade um, I would say so it's kind of it's not that flat you know uh, but it sounds cool you know it's got that nice vintage sound but the the, the, the case is that it's kind of curving so the Sustain might be a little less, I'll say, which you will have to control with your foot in this case. So I'm actually, um, after hitting that, I'm actually raising just a little bit. Um, I'm putting a little smaller pressure on my foot, which is like this. If you're using, if you if you're being uh, dramatic, but. I'm actually doing like something like this. You can see raise it a little bit, um, which in this case would help the the sizzle sound will be a little bit longer, you know. So yeah, that that's one thing. And another thing is that you want to make sure that every hit you, of your uh, stick uh, to be consistent, like this, which is hard. Because hi hat is a lot more sensitive than the cymbals, I would say. Um, the dynamic change, the the tone, the change of tone, the both uh, hats, the uh, you know, so many things to think about. So that's a lot harder than just playing this and this. I would say if you want to practice this thing, you you gotta be able to play your right cymbal really well. Uh, I'm still working on it, but I think I, I've got something to, to talk about. So first of all, you want to make sure that you 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 can actually control the sound of of your sticks, which is 
um, the angle way uh, uh, the angle wise is like this and the holding position wise uh, you can hold like this um, and hold like this and hold like this you hold like this um, plenty of different ways but you gotta find some way that you find yourself can play really consistent and both are uh, both consistent and sound great okay in my opinion I'll, I'll actually do this um, I'll just play for you a little bit is actually loosen it up and not to control too much with your thumb uh, not to press your uh, sticks with thumb and index finger you, you should actually circle it around like this and uh, also make some rooms um, to, to make a bigger sound and more articulate sound like this um, yeah but that's just one way and I can I can pra I can practice that thing on my uh, hi hat, which just sounds like this. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. The thing that I want to mention is that every symbol has a different way to, to play it, okay? So this one should sound great on this one. And this symbol should be a little bit angled up because it's a lot thinner than this one. So... So if you want, if you play uh, way too wide with your uh, sticks, as you can see, the tip is here, and this is kind of wide. If you play that way, although I'm I'm actually raising my sticks not too much, but it sounds much bigger and much more lower tone, you know. So. Um, Right, uh, so that that's the thing. So you want to make sure that you can you can um, control the sound of your sticks, and then you want to control the dynamics, and then uh, you want to control uh, the consistency of each individual uh, right symbol beat. Okay, and that's about it. Um, and actually, after that, you gotta practice that with maybe syncopation by uh, Ted Reed or something like that. And you want to be able to play consistency uh, cons uh, consistently on the hi-hat and also play some comping thing, uh, things on the bass drum is there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, for, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed